Hello everyone, and welcome to Ohio's Amish country, located mainly in Holmes County, amongst the rolling hills in East Central Ohio, consisting of the towns of Berlin, Sugar Creek, Millersburg, Walnut Creek, Charm, and a few others. Amish country Ohio is the number two destination in Ohio. In Amish country, you'll find many antique shops, craft shops, restaurants, cheese makers, unique shopping, quilts, tours and museums, Amish homes to tour, many lodging options such as bed and breakfast, cabins, hotels, motels, or camping. Um, when you're here, there's a lot to see. You might want to stay at one of these places so you can see it all. The Amish population in Ohio is over 40,000. They used to be the largest Amish community in the United States. Now I believe that belongs to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. While here, you can learn about Amish culture. The area consists of both Amish people and the Mennonites, both practicing the religion of Anabaptism. There are many different groups of Amish in Holmes County with varying beliefs. Both Amish and Mennonites believe in passism as opposed to conflicts, and I believe will not serve in the military as they are conscientious objectors. There are other differences, as the Amish only use horse and buggies, the Mennonites allow automobile ownership. For churches, Mennonites have meeting houses, while the Amish meet in homes and barns the Amish families taking turns hosting. Both are known to be hardworking and kind people. To learn more about them, please come to Amish country and learn more about their culture. As always, thanks for checking out my channel, Living Like Larry. This is Larry, and let's go check out some shops here in Amish country. If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe to my channel, and ring that notification bell so you know when I have something new coming out. Our first stop today is at Doobiesburg Cheese, located outside the small community of Charm, Ohio. Doobiesburg Cheese has won many awards, including right now the current U.S. Cheese Championship Grand Champion. They are the home of the original Baby Swiss and were founded over 60 years ago, offering many varieties of delicious cheese and other Amish goods and a deli, as well as cuckoo clocks. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer.
just outside of the cheap shop, they have a walking path that runs along a flower garden. It consists of beautiful flowers and a water feature with a small mill and a gazebo. While you're out here, make sure to say hi to the garden habit, little habitats of the garden, the garden gnomes. Now let's take a trip down the road to Berlin, Ohio. Located at the crossroads of US Route 62 and State Route 39, Berlin is the oldest village in Holmes County, settled by many people of German and Swiss descent. Berlin is the home to over 50 shops and restaurants and is a main destination to those visiting Amish country. Come on inside, let's visit some Berlin shops. We are at Pam's Place. It's a nice little shop full of beautiful country home decor. Items include bedding, throws, pillows, shower curtains, bed skirts, rugs, and other bedding, baskets, and Bella Taylor handbags. As with all community shops here in Amish country, you are greeted with a very friendly service. Our next stop is the Secret Garden, a unique shop full of colorful outdoor garden decorations, quilts, berries, and a Christmas area. They also have an indoor cottage full of porcelain dolls. Again, as with the last stop, I do want to stress that there is very friendly service here. The lady working gave me and my family the story on the Amish family selling handmade baskets outside next to her store.
Just a couple doors down from the Secret Garden, you'll find Main Street Fudge. This is the Main Street Fudge and Popcorn Company, known also as the sweetest place in town. As you walk in, you're greeted by a gumball roller coaster that costs a quarter, and it's quite entertaining. You watch the gumballs go down, and it plays some cute music. Next, the store opens up to aisles of different flavored gourmet popcorn. Some of the flavors are banana split, s'mores, taco, and mango. Many dozens of flavors. While overlining the wall are unique and vintage flavored sodas, including pickle, sweet corn, cucumber, capone cherry cola, and Wyatt Earp sassafras root beer. At the counter, you will find a large variety of fudge and also an ice cream shop, staffed, of course, by very friendly employees. We picked up some popcorn soda and some fudge. Here we are at one of many antique shops located in Berlin, Country Life Antiques, a small shop full of antiques and other country home decor. You can follow them on Facebook at Country Life Antiques. Another very unique shop in Berlin is the Magic Shop, full of vintage toys, cookie jars, candy, and of course, magic tricks and kits. The shop also offers tours and magic shows and has a room full of large variety of metal signs.
Another stop I always make while visiting Amish country is Heine's Cheese Chalet. It's been in business since 1935, also known as Bunker Hill Cheese. This is still family owned and operated under the third generation of family. Started by Hans Thalwalder, who trained as a master cheesemaker in Switzerland. I believe they have the largest variety of cheese in Amish country, producing over 50,000 pounds of cheese a week. They also offer cheese fudge, cheese fudge, beef jerky, candy, honey, and other Amish goodies and souvenirs. Another place we like to visit is Miller's Bakery. It's a smaller business located on the back country roads of Amish country between Charm and Berlin. They offer delicious homemade baked goods including donuts, cheese tarts, bulk food, pies, and of course apple fritters. As I said, they are a small business, but just as good as the larger businesses. Another bakery we like to go to here is Kaufman's Country Bakery. They have a large, it's a larger bakery. It's located across the street from Heine's Cheese Chalet. <clears throat> They've been in business since 1992, started by brothers Steve and Richard Kaufman, using recipes passed down from their grandmother and mother. They offer delicious baked goods, including pies, donuts, a variety of breads, rolls, and they even have ice cream and souvenirs. While in Amish country, 
there are numerous places to eat. And many of them are Amish family style buffets with food made from scratch. Der Dutchman is a popular choice as well as the Amish door. We chose the Amish door. I'm both known for fried chicken that is very delicious among other things such as ham, shrimp, and other delicious recipes. Now we're on our way to the town of Sugar Creek, also known as Little Switzerland. It offers visitors many restaurants from Amish cooking to pizza shops, featuring baked goods, furniture, antiques, bulk foods, and of course, cheese. Sugar Creek is also the home of the world's largest cuckoo clock, which strikes every half hour. It is in the town square. They also have a brick wall sculpture containing 13 brick panels in downtown depicting the history of the area. They offer many events throughout the year, including a fabulous 50 fling, a soapbox derby, light up Sugar Creek at Christmas time, and a Swiss festival to promote Swiss cheese. While in Sugar Creek, don't forget to visit the Alpine Hills Museum, which has three floors dedicated to the Amish and Swiss heritage. Thanks for joining me on my journey through Amish country, Ohio. I hope you enjoyed the adventure. And again, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more, subscribe to Living Like Larry. This is Larry. And in conclusion, I'm going to leave you with the cuckoo clock striking. As always, be kind to others and flash them a nice smile, a hello or a wave. It could make someone's day. Thank you for joining Living Like Larry.